Oh, this thing is stiff, man. What is Gucci, everybody from the internet? This is Dan from VTech Therapy, and today we're actually gonna be installing the Acuity Short Shifter for the Acura RSX. And the reason we're doing that is because I feel like the OEM shifter box is just uh, basura, it is trash. And uh, we had to do something about that. And uh, today's the day that we're gonna take care of that. I also have another announcement before we get into the review and installation of this uh, QD Short Shifter. I do wanna start this kind of like season or series within the channel. It's gonna pretty much be on uh, making my car more drivable and more fun to drive as a daily driver. Um, I've been owning this car for six to seven years already. And I've noticed a couple of things that kind of bug me that, that aren't quite there in the RSX. And I know I have a couple of mods that would fix these problems here. And uh, just to go down the list really quickly, it's gonna be four upgrades that I think are gonna make the car that much better when it comes to driving it as a daily driver. Uh, first one is gonna be obviously the QD short shifter. Second is gonna be braided brake lines. Third is gonna be motor mounts. Then after that, we're gonna move over to uh, a steering rack slider. And actually there's a fifth one, which is new coil lovers because the ones that my car has right now, um, which are the Mugen showers, uh, the, the whole suspension set, um, one of them is busted and it's pretty much sounding really bad when it goes over bumps because it, bo it bottoms out and it just sounds pretty bad. So that's the reason why I have to get new uh, coilovers, which I already have some in mind and they're gonna be amazing. So stay tuned for that there. So yeah, I'm excited for this new season. Hopefully this spices things up on the channel and you guys enjoy this type of content as much as I enjoy making it. Um, and this is gonna make the car drive that much better. Hopefully this also gives you guys ideas as to what you could do to your car. So with that being said, let's just move on to the installation of the Acuity Short Shifter here because of course this video here is the one that's gonna start this whole season here. So we're gonna go ahead and install it. And then after that, I'm gonna give you my thoughts of this whole installation and how it performs on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so we finally finished doing the installation of the Acuity Short Shifter. Um, from a scale to one to 10 on installing this shifter, it was it was not that hard. I'd say it was like a six, maybe possibly a seven, just because this is my first time. So there's some things that I ran into that I didn't see in other videos, but we got it done. It's on. This thing is stiff as hell. A lot stiffer than the OEM shifter. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not really sure. First impressions, the shift is like crisp so crisp it feels like a proper shifter now oh my god okay okay now i understand why people like short shifters I don't know how I feel about this noise here when it goes up and down. I don't know if you guys hear that. 
this sound right here kind of puts me off i don't know what i don't know what makes that sound so that's another reason why i want to rock the no centerpiece here just to make sure everything's good you know i'm starting to think um the feel of this shifter yes it feels good but for a daily dri driven car i don't know i might not see the point to it i mean you might just want to throw that money into something else maybe motor mounts maybe i don't know maybe i just need more time to drive with this in order for it to convince me but uh yeah let's see we're gonna go from third to fourth right now i mean I mean it is the throw is a lot shorter i mean it feels good very direct might let it loose a little bit here <laughs> oh baby oh okay 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 maybe i maybe i do understand why this short shifter is good when you're at high speeds you just get into the gear a lot quicker which means you can let off of the clutch a lot faster and get into your next gear it's more stiff more direct more responsive um, feels good when going into shifts you do have to put a lot more force going into shifts but, you know obviously nothing too crazy but it's gonna be a whole new learning curve because i was so used to the oem shifter so now i have to obviously learn this shifter and maybe you know once i get used to it i will um you know have a better better understanding of it and then maybe i'll like it some more yeah that's pretty much it 